Hey everyone, Technometry with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the iPhone battery that won't hold charge. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is go ahead into your setting on your iPhone and then scroll down to battery here. And in the battery section, you're going to go down a little bit further and take a look at apps that are using your battery. If you notice that an app is using a all or a lot of your battery, it could be an app issue where you need to go ahead A, update the app, or B, delete the app and reinstall it or simply just remove it from your phone here. As you can see here right now, for my phone, as you can see, it seems like a normal battery charge. There isn't an app that needs to be uh, done with the update, but if there was, let's say there's an app here that you're seeing, the battery amount is high, you might want to consider updating it so that if there's a bug or a glitch, it will fix that from draining your battery. So in the phone here, you're going to go to the App Store here. From the App Store, you can go ahead and search for that specific app, or you can click on your profile up here, and it's going to list all the apps that require an update. And if you want, you can update all the app as well. Sometimes it gets you to update all of the app because there's bug fixes, and sometimes there's glitches going on that could be potentially draining out the battery. So it's best to just update all of them, but if you don't want to update all of them, and you're going to update one of them like this, you just click on that update option and let it download and update the app as well and once it's updated hopefully your issue is fixed now if it's not fixed the next thing you want to consider is going ahead into your phone's brightness level so what happens is when your phone operates at the highest brightness level over time the battery is going to drain a little bit faster i recommend is reducing it maybe halfway or a little bit lower and you should see improvement of your battery life as well now another thing to also do is go ahead into your uh, setting on your iPhone and this time for any sort of mail if you're fetching any mail we need to turn down how fast or how often it's being fe fetched meaning pulling down so you can click on the option for accounts here and you see where it says fetch new data right you want if you do it automatically that will automatically constantly do it can take up a lot of battery recommend switching over to maybe hourly or every 30 minutes or even every 15 minutes and you should see improvement of the battery life from draining quickly as when it's automatic it will constantly look to update your uh, phone's mail which you might not need now the next thing you want to consider is in the main settings here under general is going to be your background app refresh so whenever you have this setting on basically that means these apps are constantly whenever they're on Wi-Fi or cellular data looking to pull new data, meaning get refreshed data, and necessarily isn't required because once you open the app, it also pulls new data. So if you know an app that you don't need, you can go ahead and just turn this all off for all of the apps, and you should see improvement of your battery life from, again, not being able to hold charge. Now, along with that, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and do this feature after you, you have updated your apps is that pull up the menu like this for all the open running apps or double click on your home button and just simply swipe and close out all the apps that are open currently. So I'm going to go ahead and close out all the apps that are currently open on my iPhone just like that. Just keep on sliding it over, right? Then it'll be all the way there, sliding it over. Let's try one more time. Just keep on going. And once all the apps are closed, we're going to do this process. First thing is you're going to press and release the volume up. Press and release the volume down, and then hold on to this side button just like that. And we're going to wait for it to completely go black before the Apple logo appears, then we'll let go of that side button. When it says slide to power off, do not need to touch that. Just keep on holding that power button and then let go once you see the Apple logo. And what we have done is a force restart, basically shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. So if it's a software related issue causing that iPhone battery not to hold charge it will fix it for us again if it doesn't work the first time go ahead and try it again it's just going to be a sequence of pressing and releasing the volume up and then pressing and releasing the volume down before holding on to the side button before the screen goes black and the apple logo appear you could do it as many times as you need to method is completely safe will not delete any of your personal data all of your photos videos apps still be on your iphone now the next thing to do it's going to be probably even more important is that in the settings, go to general, go for 
and a software update is to update your phone software. Sometimes what happens is a previous software might have caused the issue with the battery draining quicker or battery not holding charge. It's time to go ahead and update it because Apple will release a new fix through the software to fix the battery. So you want to go update your phone to the latest version as well. And then a few tips in terms of making sure your battery holds the charge is that if you're using a charger that's not Apple's, I recommend using a genuine Apple charger and the Apple wall adapter as well. What happens is when you use third party ones or ones that aren't specifically designed for iPhone, over time they might not deliver the right amount of output to the battery causing that battery to drain out. So use a genuine, basically a real Apple product for Apple charge charging your phone. And lastly, another thing to consider is that if you did all of this and still not holding charge, it might be time to replace your battery. A good way to check that is in the settings, go to battery, click on battery health. Right here, it's going to tell you your battery health. Now, if it says normal, it's great. If it says things like service, that means your battery might need to be replaced. Or if you see that capacity under 80%, usually Apple recommends replacing it under 80%. 100% capacity is when the phone is brand new or the battery is brand new and you can also see the cycle count if you see this number maybe closer to a thousand or a thousand or more it's probably time to go ahead and replace your battery which you can do at the Apple store authorized Apple repair shop where they can replace the battery and I hope these tips and trick help you guys fix your iPhone battery that won't hold charge. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button. And also, if you would like to donate to support our channel, it's in the description box. See you guys next time.